drills. We had, from previous experience in other projects that we had done in the company and elsewhere where I've been, uh, if you had used equipment here, maybe you had used rods, used tubing, or used something, you never could really quantify all that, so we decided to do it with new drills so we could put it all to the test. If you start out with brand new stuff, you'd like to have some pretty good results. So, typical setup, our pump unit's a conventional unit, 228, 246, 86, 86 inch strokes, 10 strokes a minute, inch and a half or inch and a quarter pump. Our design was steel glass or steel glass and sinker bar combination, okay? Our tubing design, when we first started out, was regular tubing, J55 on top, and six joints of Endura alloy at the very bottom. Why six joints? I don't know. We wanted to make <coughs> sure that, uh, that well, we'd seen that the biggest six problems we'd had in the initial <coughs> installations on some of these wells was down at the bottom. Six joints, about 150 feet, more or less, you know, 200 feet. But we wanted to make sure that it was in the bar section, completely in the bar section. And so we started out with 150 feet. We had to start somewhere, like I said. Strategically, where to locate this tubing was the main objective right off the bat. Our average depth is 72.19, case is four and a half ID, or four inch ID, I'm sorry. Now, as I said earlier, we started out with the Andura alloy tubing at the bottom, six joints, and then the rest was bare at the top. For the purpose of this project, there were 18 newly drilled wells. Okay. These are the wells. And as, as I'd mentioned before, we were trying to find out where to strategically place this Endura alloy. Okay. So we had to make some changes, or we did make some changes. In this project, a total of 19 well service events on 10 of the 18 project wells occurred. The key word being well events not necessarily a failure. The reason I say that is because some, one well was, was recompleted, so we pulled it, but we went ahead and used that event to calculate our mean time between failures also. In other words, we counted it, okay? Uh, those, out of those uh, 19 events, eight were tubing leaks, eight were rod parts, one pump change. These are 17 actual failures. And then we had one new zone recompletion. Not necessarily a failure, but still an event. We put it in our calculations. And they had one that did not fail, or we couldn't find a failure in, I'm sorry. These six wells, these six 